Hi and welcome to one more video. Today I'm in my living room to bring you a very very special guest, my baby dog Bite. Bite. Oh. <laughs> Say hi to Bite. So let's unleash the story of how Bite came into our lives and how we brought him to Denmark. It all started with our wedding plans, which, by the way, I can spin the pins on later if you are interested. My partner and I always dreamt about our future family, and we both share a passion for furry creatures, uh, dogs to be more precise. We had friends and family with these Labrador Retrievers dogs, and we were in love by their behavior, by their charm, by how playful uh, they were and whenever we daydreamed about having a dog it was always a labrador that stole our imaginations fast forward to 2020 when we were all set uh, for our wedding but guess what COVID-19 crashed the party <laughs> and we had to postpone our wedding after two years of planning everything of course, I was really sad about it and honestly, I think I was this close to join Team Depression. But behold, because in the midst of the chaos, my husband had a brilliant plan to lift up our spirits. And that's when Bite entered the stage. <laughs> Basically, he took care of everything and one day he casually just dropped the ball. We are getting a dog! <laughs> I cried, I screamed, it was a whole production. <laughs> but let me just clarify that I am not advocating for dogs as presents or any living creature actually, but for us, it just made sense. We had both dreamed about this for a long time now and we were just waiting for the perfect timing, probably after the wedding. But hey, who needs perfect timing? Life has no pause, right? <laughs> Next! came the happy choosing a name. We were so indecisive that basically we chose a name for Bite minutes before we pick him up. And no, his name is not Bite from Biting. His name is Bite from Gigabyte. <laughs> Are you okay now? Yay! first day with Byte was a completely adventure. He was a bit scared, of course, I think that's normal for a little pup. We tried to pamper him with a bath for him to relax a little bit, and we had some playtime with him, but he wasn't exactly in the mood to party and to play and all of that. The next morning, though, <laughs> I woke up to a crush, Byte's big entrance into the world of mischief. Basically, it crashed into our living room lamp. <laughs> Didn't you? As time went by, he was more comfortable with us and the rest, as they say, it's history. I really have to say that Bite played a crucial role in brightening up our darkness days. The joy he brought into our lives is beyond measure and we really, really love him very, very much. Now, let me spill the beans about Byte's journey to Denmark. At first, we considering flying with them, but let's just say it didn't fly with us. <laughs> Especially when we realized it had to take a separate flight due to his size. So, we got him his very own doggy passport and all the necessary papers, and we embarked on a road trip instead. A three-day long adventure with only a quick stop in Spain. Bite was such a hell-behaved baby. But of course, that by the end, he had enough of the backseat uh, driver rule. His adjustments here in Denmark have been great. We have here a lot of dog parks and Bite has been making uh, a lot of friends here. Although in the beginning, I had a hunch he was a little bit homesick for his Portuguese routine. Back there, he used to have playdates with the neighbor's dogs like daily, and he already had his own canning crew, you know. But hey, life is all about change, right? So, yeah. Invite is making new buddies here too, so 
everything is good. <laughs> you can follow him on Instagram. He doesn't like cameras, so that's why he's like with his head down. That's what it is. But you can follow him on Instagram to see how his real time adaptation has been. I will leave it in the description below. And well, that's all for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video and to get to know a little bit more about Spike's story. If you got any questions, Please don't be shy, okay? Oh, and by the way, feel free to subscribe, like the video and all that kind of things that YouTubers ask you to do. <laughs> Plus, if you are feeling extra kind today, follow me on Instagram. I post things there every day. Sending you a virtual hug and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>